have you ever heard of the stone ape theory? No, sir. The, <laughs> the stone ape <laughs> theory is this, there's this guy who's this, um, he was an ethnobotanist and uh, uh, like a psychedelic guru. His mm. name was Terence McKenna. And Terence McKenna had this theory, and it coincides with the, it, there's a lot of interesting things about it, but it's about the doubling of the human brain size. Apparently, the doubling of the human brain size is the biggest mystery in the entire <clears throat> fossil record. Because it, it happened fairly quickly. It happened over a period of like two million years. I missed that boat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think you did, dude. I don't think you did. You're smart as fuck. Shut Thank the you, fuck sir. up. Thank you, sir. But this, this time period was when lower... So what happened was that the rain, climate changed and the rainforest receded into grasslands. And so a lot of these hominids came out of the trees and they started experimenting with different food sources. Oh, there's like a whole uh, video about it. So these, these mushrooms grew on on cow shit so they've observed all these different primates flipping over cow patties and eating beetles and grubs sure, on them sure. and they would probably experiment with the mushrooms that grow on them and his thought was that mushrooms in low doses increase visual acuity so it makes sure. you a better hunter it emphasizes a sense of community so it would make you like have better tribal interactions that would be benefit it makes people horny that would benefit breeding. And then there's also, like, his brother Dennis McKenna, he explained it to me, but I'm, I'll fuck it up if I try to re recall it. But it's essentially that some of the elements that and how psilocybin interacts with your mind, it helps the facilitation of language. And he thinks that all those things coincided with climate change. So as, as these rainforests receded, these lower hominids came out, tried mushrooms, started eating them, and kept eating them for millions of years. And that was a part of the diet. And as they did this, and as they understood what to get and what to eat, right. they, they looked for it, and they ate it on all the time. And it probably gave them a lot of ideas for how to make tools. It probably right. gave them ideas like how to harness fire. And he thinks it's the source of human evolution. Shroomies. Shrooms. That's amazing. amazing. I, be I believe it. And they're illegal, which I is hilarious. Are they? Imagine that. Yeah. They're federally. Really they're the federally. House. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, they grow whether you like them or not. Not that I have them there. It's just. <laughs> My buddy Duncan lived in Asheville, North Carolina, and they had so many shrooms that were growing on cow shit that mm. they started giving the cows a certain kind of feed to discourage the fungus growth. They put chemicals in here's their a, feed to kill the fucking fungus. The most natural thing. Can you get? Can you get in trouble? Say you have a bunch of cattle, right? Can you get in trouble and then someone from the DEA shows up and starts flipping over your patties? There would be a hard thing. I mean, they'd have to really be going after you because obviously that shit just grows naturally. Right. And it's not like the, you don't have to do anything. They, they're they everywhere. They're they're everywhere. Like Duncan said, it's like there's – because the way um, mushrooms work is there's spores, right? But then there's the most of the, the – the, what you see that pops out of the ground is like the fruit – of the actual mushroom right the the real mushroom is underground <clears throat> the real mushroom is the mycelium the spore the, all the stuff that connects all of the the vegetable life all the vegetation sure. life form together that's does that, where does it, that have psilocybin or some just, of it or does. just the just the i think the, just the fruiting the bodies caps. probably do or just the the ones that come out of the earth are probably the one i don't know though i don't know that but i, I do if know there's that, like worms down there getting high as fuck or they just like are, little critters. They're probably connecting. On. They're probably connecting in some very weird way. They get to the, get to the roots and just take like a big, and then they're like, yeah. "Oh my fucking god! Yeah. I'm so high!" Right just now. absorbing it, <laughs> absorbing it through the soil. They're just absorbing. Oh, the sea. That's good. Yeah. Maybe. It, ooh, imagine it's all just in there, and then like you get some like shroom corn, so you can just eat like a an ear of corn and yeah. get super fucking rocked well you know they used to accidentally get high because they would get uh ergot would poison their wheat and their barley mm -hmm. so it's like a certain fungus mm -hmm. that grows on wheat and it gives you an lsd like effect and they think that that might have been the source of the salem rich witch trials wow because at the time where this was taking place they had apparently had a late frost and when they have a, a late frost or an early frost rather and apparently when they have an early frost it makes these plants more subject to ergot poisoning and then they did some samples on some soil samples they did find ergot 
I think they might have even like tested some things and found ergot in them. But they, so what they think was happening was these people were getting bad wheat that had ergot poisoning. And so a lot of them would die because like th there was a big one, a big breakout of ergot poisoning in France a few years back. Not a few years back, quite a while back. But it was the same kind of thing. Like a bunch of people died from, from ergot and other people were <clears> just <throat> tripping balls. 